Yo guys, now this is for this last permission, the second one. So now the second one says that a user will enter numbers that will be added to the sum, and when a negative number is encountered, stop adding numbers and write out the final result. Now this is very simple, but just that it's just like a more word. So I broke it down. So let me just see, break down D Okay, this is D. So I broke it down. So break down. Now I broke it down to a user will enter number that will be added to the sum, and when it is negative, number just send the words the result. Just like if um, let us use a, a game for example, like a running game. When you when someone lost, the graphic how system will not allow you to continue. It was it will bring you back to your score. So to tell you what you score. So that's the same thing that is going to happen here. Now let me write the special code. So what I'll do now is just to say um, a user will enter a number. So I'll just say set that number that the user is entering. Set the number to the MC C or X and you see sum will be equal to that X that then the sum plus the X what you do is if if that X is equal to a negative sum that is minus x all you do is you uh, just send or just print you print x so that's just it now to make you understand this thing very well i will just use the flow chart to explain very well so what i'll do here is you can so this one is going to be flow charts that is to explain this very well so now i'll come here and i'll say start so when you start when i start then i'll come here and just put the next one so the next one is what set the number gonna be like this. So the next one is gonna be set the number. Um, I will set the number to x. And what I will do is just to go to the next one. Um. Um, I'll now process again. I'll say this is some. This is some. This is some plus x. You understand? The second one should be what? The um, sum of x should be what? The second one should be a decision so a decision so I'll say um, if x is equal to minus x so I'll just set a root here I'll say if then oh let's set the roots here so i'll say if it will require some technical so if x so i'll just say if y that means yes let me reduce the point to something like 20 or 25 or 25 is too small let me reduce it to 60 
So if y if the number is a negative number, you do what? Or instead of putting it here for simplicity sake, let's just let us not change the method of how we are doing. So let me cut it and then just put it here as a next. So I just say this if y then you do what? You will output the process is done. Then you just send me the words. You send me the word the value. Send me the value of x. Yeah, so that's just everything you need to do. And that's the answer for this. So that's just it. When I'm playing a game, anytime I lose, let us say the negative is lose. Anytime I lose the game, what we have for this word is to give me that, send me that a notification or send this guy his um, results that he has lost this game already. So he's not able to proceed. So he said a user will enter a number that will be added to his song. So anytime I'm adding a positive number, it will not do this thing. It will be going. So if I was writing it in JavaScript, let me just write it in JavaScript. I'll see. Uh, let's do a let number. Let number. Because you know, this one is not. This one is not deal. But if he has us to write JavaScript, this one is not deal. Let's not make mistake, please. Let the number. Because to, or him just say him call it num. Let the num is equal to x. So we we'll add x. So I'll come on to the end. I'll see if num if num equals to Okay, let me say the negative. If one is equal to a negative number, I can do like this. Uh, if one is equal to a negative number, like this, then what I'll do is just to say, uh, just if one the value of x else. I will just say else. I will just say uh, continue or just keep adding. Let's say we don't the sum as this equals to sum plus. So this is just JavaScript. This one is not among the project. So I just added ten deletes. Let me delete this. Yeah. So this is the answer for it. Yeah. So just watch through it and then just scroll down for simplicity. So you saw what I was doing. So you press the code and this is the chat. So this is maybe if y then what? Thank you, I'm going to